Hello and welcome to Blue Maxima Reviews, a show where I buy it so you don't buy it and feel like a moron because you bought another Spy Hunter. Today I'm looking at Retro City Rampage. A giant, massive nostalgia trip, that is all Retro City Rampage is. It's hard, fast, and filled to the brim with references, but nevertheless, if you can enjoy the references, there's a half decent game under here. The main game itself is a GTA clone. Lots of silly weapons, missions, and references are in every single minute of the game, all in a significantly large open world to explore. There are phone booths, invisible walls, and loot bags to find, heaps of missions and rampages, and plenty of distractions. The graphics are a retro treat, with most of the game in 2D, with some silly references to 3D and such sprinkled in here and there. Everything is extremely colourful and reminiscent of the 80s, and the soundtrack is pure, awesome chiptune, although a lot of people tend to not like that sort of thing. But if you do, this game is for you. Gameplay is a different story, although not by much. Moving your character around and driving is extremely natural on the Vita analog stick, and it's easy to pick up. Fighting people with the auto lock on is pretty hard, but once you learn that you can effectively play the game like a dual stick shooter, it becomes a lot easier. There's a cover and jump system which aren't really required unless the game specifically tells you to use them. The game doesn't have much depth. Everything boils down to looking for things or shooting things. It's not that deep, but the simplicity of it all wins over the lack of depth. The game's story is, again, filled with references to almost everything ever. In your first 10 to 15 minutes you'll have seen dozens of references and they stretch all the way across the game world. Some are subtle, some are blindingly obvious. Sometimes it can break the immersion of the game, but there's a point where you'll be having too much fun to care. It can last a long time as well, with over 60 story missions to blast through and plenty of challenges and rampages to have fun with. Everything from blowing yourself long distance through the air with rocket launchers and smashing people in the face with golf clubs is included, and it all has high scoreboards. With the hidden collectibles and such, this game can last a long time. Sometimes the game can become maddeningly difficult however, with the in-game bit trip reference stages being next to impossible for me, along with other parts like some story missions. Unfortunately it doesn't feel as much as requires skill as completely unfair, as you're faced with sometimes insurmountable odds, especially in one mission where you get to a waypoint in a car and attacked by half a dozen guys with rocket launchers. Ugh. Another point is that the references may not be easily recognised by someone who doesn't have a lot of experience with older games. Some of the references I didn't get until they were pointed out to me, and if you don't recognise the references then you're kind of missing half the point of the game altogether. But Retro City Rampage is honestly a lot of fun outside of its problems, and I do recommend it. There's a demo available on the Vita store, you should always try a demo if it's available. See you next review!